Facts here. I'm here for a night shoot, but um, the sun's not doing a very good job of setting. It uh, set 30 minutes ago. It's not doing a great job. Probably looks like shit on camera. I'm probably completely invisible, but um, for me, it's still bright as shit. Can't even do flashlight work. So I'm here to talk about the uh, MBT trigger. You can't see shit, but there's a trigger on this AR, I promise you. Um, probably won't be holding it up too much. I'm not going to do my full review cycle because, you know, opinion, uh, experience, all that stuff. Uh, because it's a trigger, there's really not much to say out of, uh, about it. It's an MBT trigger from LaRue. Two stages. It's a really damn good trigger. I could unbutton my shirt and talk for like 10 minutes and uh, ghost the trigger with you and go full Grantham. But I am neither as charismatic nor as good looking. So I'll spare you guys all of that image and just stick to the facts. The brass facts. <laughs> yeah, so I got a piece of paper here to make me not sound too stupid. It's probably too late for that one, but uh, at least keep me on track, which I'm not really doing either. So the short of it is, it's the best trigger you can get for the uh, the money spent and borderline just the best trigger. Yeah, that's. Do we wrap up the review there? No, I, I can get into a little more detail, but if you want the short and sweet, that's basically it. This is the trigger I would recommend to anyone that wants an aftermarket trigger in their AR. Now, I, <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people are saying, but what about the, the Geisley SSA or SSAE, which is Geisley's really famous. If you don't know about it, not sure why you're watching this video, but it's their, you know, super expensive, fancy ass trigger. I have one in one of my rifles. It's a great trigger. Uh, is the MBT better? No. Uh, the the Geisley SSA or SSAE is more refined, we'll say. The, the, rotation, the rotation of the trigger is smoother, uh, it feels cleaner, and um, it's just a nicer trigger overall. That being said, the MBT is really close. We're talking within 10%, give or take. How does the MBT do against everything else on the market, though? Just to, you know, round this review out, I guess. So, small disclaimer here. Um, I'm not really a big trigger guy. Like, remember, AR-15 triggers are really good, like, especially compared to any other triggers on the market. So I'm pretty satisfied most of the time with a mil-spec trigger. And this is also a trigger review, so it's worth noting that, like, this is all super, super subjective, right? This is like comparing hand stops and saying the uh, one of the hand stops is better than the other, right? You can't always say that. But this is a review, so I'll do my best and to piss off as many people as possible. So there's really only two scenarios where I want a better trigger other than just a mil-spec trigger. When I'm shooting really, really fast, and when I'm doing long range shooting. When I'm shooting really, really fast, a lighter trigger uh, with a nice reset really helps. Or at least it really helps on the shot timer. I don't really know how much it matters in the, the long, in the, the grand scheme of thing, especially when, when, since you're only talking about 0.1 at most, but generally less. Uh, though it does make it easier. And that gets into long range shooting, uh, where a nice trigger makes it a lot easier. And since most people's ARs are set up to at least engage out to 200, 300, maybe 400 or more, um, maybe there's real reason not to have a nice trigger, I guess. So I'm finally getting on that bandwagon. So how does the MBT stack up against the competition? We already mentioned the Geisley. Um, 
it's probably worth mentioning at this point, I kind of view triggers in two veins, the price and the, um, uh, the performance. Price, because I don't think it's mandatory, right? A mil spec trigger does fine, so a price is an important consideration. Um, it's not like a no expense paired thing, like kind of maybe like an optic a little bit more, although even then price matters. Uh, and then performance, right? How does it feel? So top end, we got SSA or the, the guys lead triggers, whatever flavor you like. And those perform exceptionally well. There's no doubt about it. There's a reason why guys lead is famous and it's because of their triggers, but they're expensive, 230 bucks. That's quite a fair bit. All right, moving down, you have like the next category. It's about $150 to $200 in some cases. And most of the time, these are like drop-in triggers, right? They have their own little housing, uh, something like a CNC or CMC, CMC, CNC, I don't know, one of them. Um, or the Geisley uh, G2S, I think it's called. And these triggers are generally quite good. They're, they're usually a lot lighter than mil spec triggers. That's their main thing. A lot of them are single stage. Um, but they do have some issues. They have creep. Uh, they have the price tag of $150 for a trigger, um, all that. And then you go down one more uh, bracket to like the $100 and then a little bit sub $101. And those are generally the uh, enhanced mil spec triggers, so to speak. You have a mil spec trigger, but it's been polished, coated, whatever, right? So you have something like a Rock River Arms two-stage trigger. It's a mil spec trigger that does two-stage. You have um, the ALG, which is Guidesley's sister company, which is a mil spec trigger that's been touched up a lot to be a lot lighter, different springs, whatever. Um, and then you have the MBT in this category. That's why the MBT is so good. It's in the cheapest price category, but it performs 90% of the way there to a, the most expensive category. And it kind of just blows all the competition out of the water, takes their lunch money. Uh, for, for, I guess, to clear things up, the Geisley uh, G2S, which would be the other competitor, $150, does not perform as well as the LaRue MBT. I know that's subjective, but there is noticeable creep when you use an MBT, or a, um, a G2S. The MBT, not as much. It's basically an SSAE with a tiny bit more grittiness. Like, we're talking a tiny bit. You don't notice it when you're shooting, even precision. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really it, as the sun finally sets. Uh, that's really all there is to it. It's just a really good trigger. And then you factor in the fact that it's one third the cost. Unless you're doing a no expense spared build, I think the MBT is the choice for AR triggers. I guess before I sign off, a couple of things real quick to mention. My only gripe with the MBT trigger, the trigger face, it's a bit wide, has sharp edges. Not that it hurts or anything, it's just, I don't like it, but that's a preference thing. And the trigger reset is almost offensively aggressive. It's kind of like more of a pistol trigger where the thing like rockets your finger off of it. But I think a lot of people actually like that, so that's not even necessarily a downside. But aside from that, I think that's been some brass facts for you. I think it might be time to do some night shooting here. And uh, stay safe. See you around.